Hello, my name is Zara, but my friends call me Zig, and I'm going to show you a dry wash and go. I've already sectioned my hair off, and today we're going to be using what's kind of become YouTube infamous now, the Eco Styler Gel with Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil. I could only get my hands on the small one and it was tucked away, it was the only one in my hair shop, so YouTube must have got to it and it's super popular. I got the idea to do a dry wash and go from Jerry Geraldine the Great and I'll leave her video in the description box. I'm going to spritz my hair liberally with water, that's all that's in here. my hair starts to look like when water hits it and my strands are fine to medium so they do what the heck they want so the idea is that we're going to clump them together to make them a bit more uniform larger and more defined I'm gonna start by using Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hairs Moisturizer Curl Activator Cream and this is finally launched in Boots and Superdrug I say finally because We've been getting it, <laughs> we've been getting it, but it's good to know that it's like more readily available and it's super affordable. It's quite thick, it's only like a smidgen lighter than the coconut curling cream. So I'm using a very little amount because also it spreads super easily. So I don't want to overload my hair with product. Then I'm going to add a quite generous amount of olive oil to the section working from my ends all the way up and I mix in the prairie hands method just to make sure all the strands have been coated. Now for the pièce de résistance, I probably should have taken off the lid before I applied olive oil. So it's a really nice thick jelly consistency and it's also got these kind of really small glitter particles or little flecks which I guess will help reflect the light and increase that shiny look which is really nice. Everyone keeps talking about how it smells, and to me it smells like washing powder, like laundry powder. So it's really, really strong, as you can imagine, but quite fresh. I'm going to take a really generous helping of this gel, and I'm going to start by painting it at the roots. I'm going to add more gel now from the ends going up. And I'm kind of, because it's the back section, it's a bit harder for me to, you know, pray hands from the roots. So I'm kind of using my thumb and pointer finger to smooth it down like this. See already, it's weighing my hair down and it's sticking them together. My individual strands aren't this big, but the clumping is giving it that effect. If I feel like I need to add more gel, I'll actually spray a little bit of water just to make the gel that's already on there work a bit harder. And so from here, when they're starting to clump together, I can kind of start sort of a mix between shingling and raking it through. So I can just pull apart the strands. And they'll start to work a bit of magic. That's what the back section there is starting to look like and I'm going to use a small hairband just to tie at the roots to stop it from really really shrinking. If you end up with webbing like this, where it kind of just isn't really separating like it should, like it wants to tangle up and everything, it's because you haven't managed to cover those strands with the curl cream or gel, whatever you're using. So you wanna go back in and smooth it through and make sure each of the strands have been coated. 
effectively before you try to separate or let them clump together. I'm all done now, so I'm going to be really good and air dry overnight. I'm going to sleep in this. It's a microfiber turban, so it's got a little fastening at the end, which is helpful. And that will help absorb any excess moisture. And then in the morning, I will diffuse and stretch it out a bit just to get a bit of my length back. But for whatever reason, if it doesn't work, I thought I would show you close up. We did definitely achieve a lot of definition, which is really good. I know my hair is quite dark but hopefully you can see um, the definition that I've got going on throughout which is really really nice. I picked out this zesty little strand to show you. I really like this gel, I really like it. When I saw Naturally Philo's video um, demonstrating this and she said that it clumped her coils together and I even commented, I was like that's what I need so that's what really pushed me to give it a try. Um, I really like the hold, I've got nice shake and movement so I don't feel like it's too crunchy or too heavy but it's just the right thickness to bring my strands together. The only thing that I don't like about it is it's got glycerin in it and what glycerin will do as a humectant and the same thing that water will do is it will separate all of those strands that I've brought together, they'll just start to come apart again and then they'll shrink up. So obviously it creates that frizziness or just not as defined and it means the style is a little less wearable because it risks my hair tangling up. Other than that, I'm super impressed. I don't have any flaking and I think that's down to two things. Not using a heavy amount of the Cantu product because I definitely did that before and then also adding my shea butter at the end to kind of break any potential cast that's there. That oil kind of helps soften it um, and help stretch out the gel again without letting it crack. I have a few other kind of wash and go tricks up my sleeve that I want to try to see if I can get my greatest wash and go of all time. So definitely stay tuned for that. And let me know if you've tried the Eco Styler Gel or any of the other ones and what you think about it. I'd love to know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.